For exactly two years now, tour guide and missionary Kenneth Bay of Washington State has been imprisoned in the North Korean labor camp system, suspected of trying to overthrow its government. And for nine months, New Jersey sports agent and political activist David Sugarman has been pushing for his release after reaching out to Bay's family and meeting with them in New York. Today they told him... Ecstatic. I mean, they can't wait for him to come home. Sugarman led a social media campaign on Twitter and Facebook. Today he could celebrate by posting, quote, We did it. We did it. We brought Kenneth Bay back. I am in tears crying right now. We did it. I can't believe it. And the family statement. This ordeal has been excruciating for the family, but we are filled with joy right now. Our Thanksgiving celebration this year will be one we will never forget. And President Obama. It's a wonderful day for them and their families. Obviously, we are very grateful. Uh, Sugarman met with everyone from former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to Jesse Jackson and Congressman Charlie Rangel. And he took this selfie with the North Korean ambassador to the UN who called him this morning. He said to say thank you. And did you? I sure did, yes. No one can say for sure why Bay and the other Americans have been released, though there is some speculation North Korea is worried about charges being brought against it by the International Criminal Court, says former U.S. Ambassador to South Korea Stephen Bosworth. There are ways in which they can communicate with us, largely through their mission to the U.N. in New York, which is referred to as the New York Channel. As for Sugarman, he says he may have been just one part of an effort by many to bring Bay back. Brian Thompson, News 4 New York.